Hello everybody, it's your boy Mark here, and we're going to be jumping back to another episode of Minecraft. Now, in the last one we had a long journey and we made a nether tunnel, and we're almost done with it. Pretty close, actually. And then we also had a creeper blow up in our face. We started using the craft brewing stand for once, uh, and a ton of other things. And I thought, you know what, let's just jump back into it. Why not? Why not do that? So, without any further ado, let's do it. Here we go. Cool. So next, um, let's get back to it. Um, yeah, so doing this window is obviously going to be a different feeling experience. I mean, I got the white borders mm -hmm. of the window and all that other stuff, so I feel like I'm going to, like, you know, drag my cursor off too far or something, but, you know, that's part of the fun of adjusting and doing the best we can because Minecraft in full screen is kind of being weird for some reason and we'll just thrive This feels already like even more super connected. Oh, did we grab a? No, we did not grab a speed potion. I'm pretty sure we're close to the spawner with the blaze rod. Not blaze rods, blazes. If not that, we can at least. Cause yeah, I think that's what we're close to. Yeah, it's like right there. I love my zoom button being back. Oh, there's two? Okay. Mom, get the camera! I just got a blaze! Oh, that one's just kind of separate in a weird way. Huh. As long as I don't stay on fire too long, I can run off, regenerate the hearts, and come back. Four hits. Strategy. So the regeneration on potatoes is surprisingly good. It's like as if I put butter on it or something. Okay, I got run. Eh. Probably not worth it, but whatever. We got our sword. It's basically the same thing, but whatever. We didn't even get our food back. That was a lot of potatoes. There were so many. That was my dinner. What am I gonna do? Oh gosh. What am I gonna do? That was my dinner. 
I gotta eat food that wasn't that for dinner. How, I, how will I ever go on without that kind of dinner? That was really close to that. Nice. Um, Um, but yeah, recently I've been kind of reflecting back on some fun little childhood things I enjoyed, and, uh, one of those was actually, like, um, Yu-Gi-Oh, which was very, very large chunk of where I put my money when I was younger, and, uh, yeah, I just found it interesting that, um, that some things about it still hold up to, like, criticism and stuff like that. And, um, I mean, obviously, far from perfect, both as a TV show and a card game. That's just bone meal the crap out of our farm. But I was, like, watching that and seeing how over the years and stuff like that, all that had to adapt to, so that the game wouldn't be broken and kind of, like, obsolete in that sense. And... How the show was so different it just kind of broke its own rules and stuff like that and and also how the show in america is so different and how certain things just didn't even get an end like five d's is my favorite saga it's my favorite show uh from that just do the aesthetic and um just general um character designs too it's just something that i thought that's really cool because i wasn't like old enough to be a gx kid I very much knew of it when I was younger, and I thought, oh, that's kind of cool, and, you know, played the game, and it's also kind of nice, because I'm like, wow, that wasn't, like, Spongebob Squarepants. Now, does that mean Spongebob Squarepants is horrible? Yes and no. Here's why. I think it is overrated, but then again, I haven't seen a full episode but it does not seem like it's worth it, personally. Then again, anybody could say that about anything with a message or anything that's trying to do something good or whatever it may be. <laughs> so, ginormous grain of salt. Not even a grain, like a spoonful of salt with this. But I don't know. Is it really that good, though? I don't know. Like, there's this uh, one time I was hanging out with these two people um, that are, like, the same age as me and we were making brownies and you know just kind of chilling in the dorms like cafeteria area <gasps> oh I like that that is <laughs> wait is that drugs in Minecraft <laughs> but yeah getting back onto it like I spent a lot of money on those things uh, the cards and also like a DS game that I got of it and I gotta say like I don't regret it, because I think it was, it's like a puzzly kind of thing that I enjoyed doing when I was younger, and I think it was something good to do, or at least better to do than watching Spongebob, for example. Ooh, Spongebob fans roasted. Um, <laughs> but, nah, I think it's fine. I don't think Tom Kenny's bad or anything like that. I'm just taking shots, because I don't have much 
else I can say, really. You know what I mean? But it also just ends up becoming cringy memes. A meme is like a really lame inside joke. Sometimes it's really worth it. N not even half of the time it is, though. Think about it. You laugh and you're like, aha, that's funny. But like, unless it makes you think so drastically differently compared to, I don't know, some other thing, I just don't see the point. But then again, that's kind of the internet as a whole. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. It's kind of been a rambling mess of a ton of things, but that's what getting back into recording is like. And yeah, I'm just gonna say, hey, hopefully the editing's good. Won't it, Mark? All right, so without any further ado, I'll see you on the next episode. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like this one. And toodles. Wow.